So here we are at Tropica's test lab. Hi everyone, George here from a very windy and cold Denmark. I'm here at Tropica. I'm basically going to be here every two weeks and I'll explain exactly why in a minute. So here we are at Tropica's test lab. Such a cool place. This is where they test out brand new aquarium plant species, different products, etc. And this is home to 10 brand new aquariums. These are going to be aquascaped in two weeks time from the time of filming. And the reason for that is Tropica are celebrating their 50th anniversary. And to celebrate this, we are going to have a really special booth at Interzoo 2020 and myself and some other full-time aquascapers will be here to aquascape these 10 aquariums. So we have Adri Bauman, who is a full-time German aquascaper, he goes by the name of Aquascaping Symphony. We've got Yuri's, fellow YouTuber, another full-time aquascaper and Tropica social media manager. You also have Aqua Owner, Tobias Galrish, who is another YouTuber, full-time aquascaper, uh, filmmaker and photographer. And we also have Liquid Nature, two Austrian guys, Philip Schwartz and Stefan Graf, talented aquascapers, they're gonna be here as well. So we're gonna create 10 beautiful aquascapes. There's a special 11th aquascape, which we'll talk about in another video, but we're gonna divide ourselves up. We're gonna escape each aquarium, some doing more than one aquarium. I'll talk about that in more detail in a minute, but super exciting. It's gonna be a great event. The whole process is gonna be documented. Uh, the scaping kind of event that we've got in two weeks be loads of content coming from that and also i'm going to be here at tropica every two weeks to help maintain these scapes i'll do video updates so you can expect loads of great content following the journeys of each of these aquascapes so i'm really excited to bring that to you so let's take a look at the aquariums in more detail and i'll talk about uh, the kind of styles of aquascapes we're going to be doing and who's going to be doing them uh, do check out the other aquascapers channels if you don't follow them already i'll leave links in the description uh, really great guys and super talented as well so it'd be worth having a look at their previous works etc so let's go and take a look at the aquariums and talk about them in a bit more detail. Let's start off with this 60 centimetre by 60 centimetre by 40 centimetre. So about two foot square footprint by about 18 inches. And this is quite special. It's gonna be lit with the Kessel 360X. It's all a bit Heath Robinson at the moment because these tanks are actually gonna be transported. So the idea is we grow these in over the next three months and then they're going to be drained and then transported very carefully to Interzoo where they're going to be filled up again and then displayed on the Tropica booth at Interzoo. So Yuri's is going to be aquascaping this and a very, very special aquascape because this is only going to be using three species of plants. So we're going to be using Ludwigia inclinata cuba, Hemianthus clitricoides cuba, which is a probably you know a very popular carpeting plant and then we've got Prospernica palustris so the great thing about these three species is that they're all found in Cuba and Holger Windelov who is Tropica's founder actually found these species whilst he was over there so this is a bit of a kind of tribute and a show of respect to Holger's work over in Cuba so a completely kind of Cuba inspired aquascape so this is going to be really exciting. These are the aquariums I'm probably most excited about. So Adri Bauman will be aquascaping all five of these tanks. And the concept behind these is to really showcase Tropica's 50 years of products and plant development. So each tank is going to hold plant species which are specific to that decade. So the one on the left there, that's gonna be 1970 to 1980, then 1980 to 90, 90 to 2000, 2000 to 2010, and then 2010 to 2020. But the really clever thing that Adri's doing, he's going to hopefully come up with a cohesive design. So the whole kind of, they're gonna be displayed in a long line like this at the booth at Interzoo. And I think he's gonna go for a really kind of cohesive design. So all the hardscape kind of flows and it looks like one kind of giant aquascape but using those 
plant species specific to that decade. So quite a challenge, I would say, but if anyone can do it, it's Adri. He's a very, very experienced and talented aquascaper. So do check out his Instagram and his other social media channels because, yeah, like I said, super talented guy. Next, we've got three aquariums which are the same size. These are 100 centimetres by 50 by 50, which is 250 litres or about 65 US gallons or so. And the idea behind these three is that each one is going to be dedicated to a certain category of plants. So we'll have easy, medium and advanced. So the advanced tank will be aquascaped by Tobias. We're both going to aquascape the medium category together and then I'm going to aquascape the easy category. Uh, no prizes guessing what kind of plants I'll put in there, maybe a java fern or two. So very exciting, uh, really great to show the different categories of plants, easy, medium, advanced, which uh, Tropica are well known for. And yeah, it's going to be really great to do a collaboration with Tobias. I've never actually aquascaped with him before. so. Yeah, really excited about that one. Next, we have a very interesting aquarium size. This measures three meters long or about 10 feet by 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. So the total volume of this will be about 500 liters or about 125 gallons. And as you can see, a very long kind of narrow panoramic style. And the guys from Liquid Nature will be scaping this. So Stefan Graf and Philip Schwartz I've seen some of their sketches that they've done uh, as a kind of plan and I think it's going to look epic. And the unique thing about this scape is only going to be using Tropica's limited edition plants. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they come up with. I'll talk about the kind of technical details a bit later with the equipment, etc. Because we have got some challenges in terms of, sort of circulation and CO2, etc. And I'll have a little chat about what I think we can do to uh, kind of overcome these challenges. I'm very happy to hear your comments as well and see what your thoughts are. So I'll just go over some technical stuff. The lighting is mostly T5 on these aquariums. We will be getting some reflectors to make it more efficient. And I'm only going to be using half lighting to start with to help avoid algae issues. The filtration is a very kind of simple method, but quite effective. It's got a false background there with sponges and a couple of power heads in. Super simple. And then the CO2 system. I've come up with this kind of idea, which I've used before, is I'm not sure if you can see the power head down there, but basically you're going to put a CO2 diffuser next to the power head. That's going to draw in the CO2 mist and then pump it out around the aquarium. So there'll be no visible diffuser in the aquarium. And we're going to be using the twin star diffusers, which are very efficient. And this is hopefully going to give us a really good kind of CO2 circulation pattern to help feed those plants appropriately, which is hopefully going to help avoid algae. In fact, in this one here, I do have one of those diffusers to hand. There we are. So literally one of these put right next to the power head. I don't know if you can see down there, there should be a power head at the bottom somewhere. There we are. So that would just go right next to where the water's getting drawn into that power head and then that gets smashed by the impeller and then blown out of here with CO2 and rich water and then that will feed all of the plants. So this is going to be lit by the Kessel. All the other tanks are going to be lit with the uh, T5 tubes and then we do have a special 11th tank which I'll talk about in another video. Oh, sneak preview of some of the testing that's going on there. So there we go guys, 10 aquariums, all going to be aquascaped in two weeks time. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and the Tropica channel because there'll be content coming from here from both on both channels. And I'm just really excited. There's a little bit of pressure on me because it's kind of my responsibility to make sure these tanks are well maintained, uh, doing updates, etc. And that's the reason I am coming over here every two weeks. I do love it over here. I love coming to Denmark. It's a beautiful country and Tropica, you know, it's a great company to work with. And yeah, I'm very, very privileged and grateful to have this opportunity. Okay guys, there you go. A insight into what you can expect from these 10 aquariums uh, coming soon. Really excited to be able to bring these updates and yeah, really hope you enjoyed this video. Really appreciate you watching it. You take care, keep on scaping. Cheerio.